Hello friends, in the previous videos, we solved some initial value ODEs using various methods, the including explicit, implicit Euler methods, modified Euler method, as well as fourth order Ranjakuta method. In this video, we're going to solve some stiff ODEs using explicit as well as implicit Euler methods. A yes, stiff system is one that involves rapidly changing components together with slowly changing ones. We are going to see an example of this shortly. An ODE is stiff if the step size required for stability is much smaller than the step size required for accuracy. So if you are using an explicit method, we have to make sure the step size is very small. So stability criteria is met. An ODE is stiff if it contains some components of the solution that decay rapidly compared to other components of the solution. From a practical point of view, an ODE is stiff if the step size based on cost, comp computational time is too large to obtain an accurate stable solution. So this is an example of a stiff ODE. The solution for the stiff ODE for, for small time is shown here. The time is uh, varies from 0 to 0 0.006 seconds, for example. The solution for the same stiff ODE for large times is shown here. And here the time varies from say 0 to 0 0.4 seconds. So these two graphs, they show different behavior of, of the solution. So we'll now look at, briefly look at the explicit Euler method. If we consider a general nonlinear first order ODE of the form y dash equals f of t comma y, and the initial condition given as y at t naught equals 0, then according to the explicit Euler method, we can express yn plus 1 equals yn plus delta t fn. And this is of the order of delta t. Here fn equals f of tn comma yn. This equation 2 is the finite difference equation of the explicit Euler's method. Here n is the base point. We'll also review quickly the implicit Euler method. So here if we consider again a general nonlinear first order ODE of the form y dash equals f, f of t comma y and y at t naught equals y naught, then y n plus 1 equals y n plus delta t times f n plus 1. And this is also of the order of delta t and f n plus 1 equals f of t n plus 1 comma y n plus 1. Equation 4 is the finite difference equation of the implicit Euler's method. Here n plus 1 is the base point. So an example of a stiff ODE is given here which is dy over dt equals negative 1000 times y plus 3000 minus 2000 times e power minus t. For the explicit Euler method, we'll consider a short time span where time varies from 0 to 0 0.006 and we'll consider step sizes of 0 0.0005 and 0 0.0015. The initial condition at t equals 0 is y equals 0 and the exact solution is given as y equals 3 minus 0 0.998 times e per minus 1000 t minus 2.002 .002 times e per minus t. We'll look at the stability of this ODE. If the ODE is of the form dy over dt equals minus alpha times y then the stability criteria is given as delta t should be lesser than or equal to 2 over alpha. 
for the equation for the ODE given the example which is dy over dt equals minus 1000 times y plus 3000 minus 2000 times e power minus t. The stability criteria, criteria is delta t is lesser than or equal to 2 over alpha. Here alpha equals 1000 so it is 2 over 1000. So the step size or delta t should be lesser than or equal to 0 0.002. So for the same problem, we'll consider uh, a step size um, of 0 0.005 and the time varying from 0 to 0 0.4 units when we use implicit Euler method. The initial condition is the same. There is a t equals 0, y is 0, and the exact solution is the same. So we will notice shortly that the solution is initially dominated, dominated per, by the fast exponential term e power minus 1000 t after a period say t equals 0 0.005 this transient dies out and the solution becomes a solution uh, gets dictated by the slow exponential term e power minus t the behavior we have seen in the first two uh, in the few slides before So our stiff ODE is given here. We will numerically integrate this from t equals 0 to t equals 0 0.006 using the step sizes as shown. The initial condition is given here. And we will use explicit Euler method initially. And we notice that the Stability for the stability criteria for the explicit Euler method, delta t should be lesser than or equal to 0 0.002, which in this case it is lesser, it meets the stability criteria. So looks like in this case the uh, the solution is stable we'll now go back and change the um, delta t value and rerun this case so it's, there is a bit of oscillation here but again, it becomes stable because in this case, our delta t value is still lesser than 0 0.002. So if we go, if we increase the delta t value, and maybe we'll increase this a bit as well. 0 0.3. And let's see how the solution behaves in this case. Here we notice that uh, the solution is not stable when you use large delta t. So there is a quite a bit of oscillation and uh, the error keeps going up. So we will solve the same problem now using implicit Euler method. So we will consider a delta t of say 0 0.05 and we will do the uh, large time scale in this case. Time varying from 0 to 0 0.4 and we will run this case. So there is no stability criteria in case of an implicit method. So, uh, what is uh, uh, what we need to concern about is the accuracy error. So, in this case, the solution looks reasonable, reasonably close to the exact value.
we'll consider one more case and we run this thing and still um, the stability criteria there's no issue of stability here and no other you don't see any oscillations so implicit methods are preferred uh, but we need to still keep the uh, step size small to get accuracy values preferred to summarize in this video we presented explicit euler and imp euler explicit and uh, implicit methods to solve a stiff initial value problem ODE. For a stiff problem, the step size required for stability is much smaller than the step size required for accuracy if explicit methods are used. If implicit methods are used, stability is not a concern. But for accuracy purposes, the step size need to be smaller as desired. In the next video, we can look at finite difference method to solve boundary value problem in ODE. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post it. I'll be uploading the code into your website and I'll be providing some details in the YouTube section. Bye.